Hello everyone, the country is now welcome you to another new episode of Library of Runa. Last time we finally realized all the middle floors. Yes, that's right. We even got Chesset done. And that is probably the last time we've ever used Chesset. Not gonna lie. Uh, the video cut off when I was uh, reading the ego pages for that's because my entire PC was full. I had no more storage. All of it gone. Just like that. So we read it here again. We've got Harvest, which gains two power for it for every every living ally, which is quite good. You can get up to ten power just like that for a four cost range, not bad. The evade die is kinda random though, but whatever. We got logging, which basically when it wins, the last die gets even stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, we got Homing Instinct, which is a uh, Master Individual, 8 to 18. Honestly, the roll is really bad for a 5 cost, but I, I suppose it can double as Light Regeneration for all other allies. Really bad, honestly. Faded Memories! It's another Master Individual with 2 rolls. And... yeah. If it's a I, I don't know how this works. I suppose if one of those two hit... Uh, allies draw one page, which is great, honestly. This is actually better. And then there's Paul's Throne, another mass individual. Uh, next scene, it resurrects all dead allies that died uh, during this act. For one scene, they have four light and all statuses of an emotional are reset. And they can be re revived twice by this effect. Honestly, it would be interesting if it wasn't a seven cost. So, like, when people say that, uh, Chesset doesn't have ego pages. I actually meant it. Like, the only one I would consider using is Fate of Memories. But yeah. Uh, that is everything about that I wanted to talk about. We've got one scene for Keter, apparently. And we have uh, the general invitations, which I want to do today. So let's just quickly uh, go through Keter. <laughs> あ、さらり聞けとんいるって<笑><笑> 너나 실컷 마시라고. 난 익숙해지고 싶지 않으니까. 그러지 말고 너희를 위해 특별히 달달한 걸로 준비했으니까 성의를 벗어라도 마셔봐. 그 마가리또인가? <웃음> 맞아 맞아 그거. 마키아또라고 부르지만. 그거나 그거나. Macarito. Great Gabby. Great. 난 캐러멜 맛이 너무 짙어서 별로던데. 그래서 이번에는 비엔나를 준비해봤어. 이건 좀 괜찮을 거야. 신경 써주는 건 고맙지만, 넌왜 자꾸 커피를 추천하는 거야? 그야 커피 맛을 알아주는 친구가 한명 정도는 있으면 좋을 것 같아서. 나도 커피 정도는 함께 마셔줄 수 있어. 유독 개브라에게만 끈질기게 굴잖아. 그건 나도 궁금하네. 글쎄, 뭐라고 해야 할까? 개브라는 반응이 재밌어서? 뭐? 분위기 살벌하네. 농담이야. 같이 커피 마시자는 구실로 이렇게 모일 수 있다는 게 좋지 않아? 다 함께 모이기에 커피 한 잔만은 이유가 없으니까. 이런 일 아니면 각자의 층에서 자기 할 일만 하긴 하지. 그럼 굳이 커피가 아니어도 되는 거 아니야? 다른 핑계 댈 거리가 없어서? 천국을 찌르네. 흠. 됐어. 그런 이유라면 내가 티페리트 데리고 자주 얼굴 비치면 되는 일이잖아. 우리가 그렇게 허물 없는 사이는 아니지만 굳이 이렇게까지 해서 모일 이유를 만든다는 것도 웃기다고 생각하는데? 그렇다니 영광이지만 그래서 이 커피는 한번 마셔볼래? 애써 준비했다는데 사용할 이유도 없지. Why was this on his? Why was this on Roland's floor and not on Chesset's floor? I don't get that. 
Like even that, I think that hard interaction on uh, on Dina's floor was also marred at Dina's floor. I'm pretty sure. And a different interaction on her floor was also marked at her floor. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Okay, today's goal. Run through all the... Uh, we are running through all of the... I cannot speak. It's just... Or, oh no, I don't want to burn books. We are going to run through all of the... Uh, things. Yeah, general limitations. Of Star of the City, which we not have done so far. The only one we've done so far is Don Juan. We've done that in an earlier episode. I'm very sure about that. I know we've hard in that episode. I remember it. So, we start with the actual hardest one. The Night Owls. And yes, this is the hardest one. Don't hate me. I hate this one. <laughs> with an undying passion. But I hope that with five people on Gabby's floor, which is the main reason I uh, I did the abnormality ones first, we should have an easier time with this. So let's go. Uh, or rather first, uh, the Night Owls are basically a pierce. You've probably seen me use uh, Dagger Press before, which is a pierce card from their floor. They have more, but like they have their own trans pierce, which inflicts one bind. And Ellen specifically has an exclusive page that deals damage by the sum of users haste and targets bind. Which is interesting, but... Well, I don't, I don't really like this. I, yeah, I'm not a fan. All right, but we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, four people are attacking Gabby, which is already an awful stall, but let's go. Cool. Mm. Okay, you. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Nope, I am not mad. Why you? Why do you have a feeling I'm mad? I'm not mad. Are you mad? Me? Nah. All right. Anyway, uh, what's getting buffed slash? We only have multi slash and unlock. Well, good enough to uh, uh, get this somewhere else. Oh, and three attacks on here. That's just dandy. In that case, use inner ardor on this one. And rush down on this one. You can just use quick suppression. Because it's so fun, you use it twice. Yeah. That was 8 damage, nice. Also, all of them have plus 2 on their uh, pierce. But minus 2 on everything else. So basically, their pierce rolls will win. Four. Ah. Okay. Alright, you didn't get anything, eh? Tragic. Truly. Okay, you only get one attack. So you just counter that, I suppose. And try to go with Spear here. This should actually be able to deal the damage it needs to. When Upstanding Slash can go here. Uh, you can unlock two this. No, you can Counter... Like, the, the opposing dagger press is going to be stronger every single time. And it's slash again that's get buffed. Uh, hmm. Oh, you also didn't get a, a, an emotion level up. Okay, you go here. You can use a concentration and a leap. And you can draw the sword here and forming storm here. I do want to spam a uh, mass attack as much as I can. Of 
Great. So if you didn't notice, it's really hard to win a clash against these. Okay, uh, that's actually not back to it. Okay, you can gun, which is your main damage source. And the main damage source of Asshole in this fight. Which is very annoying because I usually don't open the ability to use gun. Uh, you... no. You first. You do the burn. You still cannot really counter, which is a massive bummer. Uh, Castigation is not unlocked yet. What's buffed? It is, it is Pierce. So you have somewhat similar in strength to the others. Yay. And now I draw the, the slash card. Huh. You can dagger press. I hope you don't get staggered here. That would be very awkward. You probably get staggered here because I said because I said that. Uh you can Battle Command. And leap. Let's go. Okay, that was massive. That's a stagger already, nice. Another one. Another one. Another one. That's four staggers. And he unlocked his blade, which makes his abilities even, or his attacks even stronger. And basically enables me to use Castigation on Alan to kill him instantly. Okay, you can also use Dagger Press on this. Now we have the uh, different situation where this will be usually better than this. Because he has the Pierce buff. And he has got his blade unlocked status. Okay, spear goes here. Let's focus for it. Actually, onrush goes here. And if we battle command this, this might actually win us the fight in one go. And that, guys, is why you still run one on rush. You don't get into these situ situations often, but when you do, you really do. That's why I, I refuse to drop my one on rush, and I think everyone recommends running one on rush anyway. Because you sometimes just get here into these situations. You sometimes just arrive at the point where you can actually go for on rush to kill three people. Just like that. Next up on my list is the three books from the first one and that's the Ujjat. And these are a different kind of annoying. They're not the, oh way, we deal a lot of damage kind of annoying. They are the we take no damage kind of annoying. <laughs> Let me just demonstrate it. Alright. Basically, the Ajad have a lot to do with protection. With Hawk's Eye, they give two protection to the ally that suffered most damage at the end of a turn. If, since there's five of them here, that means that guy just does not take damage for the rest of the fight. 
for our rest of the turn. And their skills have a lot to do with do uh, with uh, protection and blocking. And honestly, they might not be bad for Hogmas really uh, for Hogmas battle. Might have to give that a shot. Not gonna lie. We didn't draw a draw. Which already puts us at a small disadvantage. But whatever. Hmm, okay. Oh wait, we do have front of soul. So we can just do this. Do we get the pierce buff? We do get the pierce buff. What about you? You only have three costs as always. And one, two cost. We go here. You get the wrath of literally everyone on this planet. Quick suppression here and graze the grass here. Let's go. Also, hitting with four spirit is basically only possible in a one sided attack. Prove me wrong. Roll of a wolf, that's what I wanted. And now one of them is basically unkillable and it's, it's a back one. And he barely took damage. He took like 15 damage that turn. Okay, anyone's gonna attack her? Nope, of course not. Why would they? It actually works in my favor though. Oh yeah, now they also use that. And on it it gives two protection to all allies next scene. Honestly, it's a Great uh, concentration, like all. Only problem is, I believe it's Argent exclusive. Well, anyway, let's get to it then. I want to put the spear on someone we can easily interrupt further. Like by gunning him down. Good place of dagger, and that's a good place for a well prescript. Get slash bonus this term, is, which is very awkward. But what can I do? Ah, uh, we cannot really afford to get hit by all of these. Gee, why is everyone and their mother attacking him? That's like seven attacks on one person. Guess I don't use farming storm. Okay, where's the Yajet? There. And graze the grass over and you cannot redirect anyone else. Great. Uh, alright. Not worth a sturdy defense. Very much worth a sturdy defense. And rush down. And you can also use Betching Form. Nice. And even in a one-sided attack, this didn't deal eight damage. Ah! My pain is not measurable. And at least they all gain 6 protection next scene. Yeah, now they are all on 6 protection except for one who is, should be on 17. Yep, 17 protection! We can just counter dice that. Okay, Summer Procuration this. And execute the other. It 
It's not like you're gonna deal damage this time, so don't bother. You only get attacked twice, but you will you will get staggered if you get hit once. And you cannot redirect anything. Okay. You get attacked three times? Am I legally blind? Well, you can redirect that. You will lose that roll and get staggered. I can feel it in my mind's eye. So let's do one that you cannot really roll. Um, you cannot really fail. <laughs> wow, that's a sneezer. Oh yeah, you don't want to take here. You leap here. Well, actually, that turns off your... Oh, whatever. Did you see that damage? Against a staggered enemy? That's the protection they have. Okay, uh... That would be very mean to use here. I would prefer this. Trail protection here, two bear. Guess where I'm gonna attack? Not the one for 12, that's poor. Oh, god damn it. Well, we can just cancel that. You're here. Oh wait, you cannot cancel. Oh my god, why are they so fast? You only get to attack once? Wait. And change that. Yeah, but not on him. Go here. And you're the perfect target for this. Here's just getting a buff, so if he low rolls by the chance of like 0.000%, we get it. Uh, gun. Not quite gun. Uh, oh, concentration. You won't deal damage to him. Or you can draw cards. And we can burn him. That's a stagger. Nice. Okay. Instincts is better. I can't just use Curse and Scar. I'm 
Hmm. Crimson Scar would be incredibly funny, but Mimicry would also be incredibly funny. I use Crimson Scar. It only costs one. And Gabby doesn't have much light. She cannot use those anyway. Okay. Light is a rare resource and I do not have any, but see if I cannot break something out anyway. Take him twice, maybe you do one damage. Alright, we have Raging Storm Harm. That's all I really can do. Nice, nice. I think Bullet Char will be great here. That too. And yes, I like those attacks. Kiscation. Uh, I think the rest could just chill. Actually, use Battle Command just to get more strength would be funny. Yep. And that's why EGO pages are great. That was Vyoja. A very defense oriented playstyle. Now, we have done every general reception from the first row. Don't worry, I will not cut the video here. <laughs> I have no intention of doing so. Next up, we've got the Murray Life Insurance. And finally, we can talk about Irina. I've already used the page before. But yeah, Irina is basically Hanafuda, but Star of a City. And better in some ways. Irina has Speed Free, which, uh, which grants her a lot of speed dice. Insurance benefits, which uh, if they get hit by one-sided attacks, restore one light. Policy form, which at the end of a scene removes all sex of one random status ailment. That would be a to the character next scene, which is insane. And life insurance, which at 30% at or less HP adds a copy of life insurance to hand, which is I think a mass attack. I didn't see it yet. Basically, she revolves around discarding. And final throw is literally a better daring decision. Look at these rolls! This is great. But yeah. That's that's me Ray Life Insurance. This one's too difficult as far as I remember. But let's still be careful. Somewhat. Oh, she starts with final stroke. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. Uh hmm. You start with concentration here, and I don't care what you say. And I leap somewhere. Uh, inner Otter and Draw the Sword. It's 
sturdy defense and unlock bayonet combat and reload. Barely not the really amount of damage I needed. Again, barely not the amount of damage I needed. Hitting for 7 damage with anything uh, Gabby does is a very big pain. Just because we know that one more damage would completely change out everything. Roll of a wolf. This will not hit. This might. What shots do you have? Five. Fire is one ugly number, I tell you that. Okay, uh, sturdy defense and rush dead. You can just gun someone. I prefer here because that one's getting staggered probably by Gabby. Uh, you got your castigation yet, yeah, which is pain. Why? Can use that right here and this right there. Actually, do it. Let's do the other other way around. And that's a turn. Maybe we can use that wedging forward. Yep. They sure max roll day. Big. That should be death, but it's not. Ah, paralysis. Yep, yeah, that's the one HP. Eh, whatever. I don't care. I don't care a lot. Gun. You can use unlock two down here. And some procuration there. Devil slash, this can just get countered. Yeah, this can really just get countered. Forming storm. And a battle command. I'm back. Should already be everything covered? Yeah. Yeah. I can also make another battle command here. I wonder how that killed. Talk about making a killing. Honestly, I kind of want to pass here. Yeah. Nice dagger. Nice death. Oof. Ah. 
Onrush, am I right? <laughs> Rush on and on and on. Why should I why should I try hard? Why can't I just unrush sometimes? Ah, great. Yeah, that was Mirai Life Insurance. That's that's one of my uh, more liked uh general receptions. But we're still not done yet. There's a leaflet workshop which has Yai and Misha work back fixers. Let's go. These guys are basically just smoke support. I'm not big on smoke, but I would use Yai if I had to build up a smoke guy. Which I might have to before we start the next episode because I have to build three floors at least. I believe three floors. That assumption comes alone from I I uh, I wanna I I'm gonna save it at the end of the video. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully something. Now let's use this here instead. They are somewhat immu immune to peers, which makes spear break. Spear is literally the worst card at uh, our dis at her disposal. We're well, in turn one, Nico. You cannot do that here. Concentration. And literally just something. Alright. And this should also give you a pointer as to why I use uh, Gabby's floor for farming. It just works. Also, these purchases are great for smoke support because they also get gain and give smoke. Which is kind of what I've been missing from prior smoke pages, not gonna lie. Alright, we get Roll of the Wolf. Do you get attacked? Yes, so we will not interact with that attack. Just gonna attack twice here. Gun. And wedging. Uh, you can just use sturdy defense. And unlock one. Nope. Uh, Portal sold. No. Th this gets sturdy defense. Jesus Christ. That one it's a bit different to have a tab on what's where. Hmm. All right. Perfect, that's one draw. Yeesh. Roll of the Wolf is literally essential for Gebra. Burn. Okay. 
Because we are quite strong. But we are... But we, we are not killing him for 55 or 1 strength strong. I'm afraid we're still missing a bit of strength power. Gun! Uh, some procuration should be okay. Can also just execute. Is that slash proc? Should be. It's so hard to make out. Uh, I think it's slash. First unlock. And Bayo combat is a possibility here too. That's a stagger. Quite big one above. Alright, another. No, not quite. That's one health. Uh, hmm. Well, why not? It's fine, shorter battles, just not long ones. Also, yeah, this guy. I haven't talked about it, but... When Stagger recovered from Stagger and fully recovers Stagger Resist, immediate repair is really strong. We can't really Stagger him fast. Hmm, you burned to death, so that's no real reason to go on him. Okay, one of these did end up hitting. But Exhale Smoke is a bit too strong for me. Does it mean I'm not gonna attack it anyways? No. Okay, that one's still alive, after this it's not. What's fast? Yikes. And that's GG for yay. Again, a really easy one, especially with five people on Gabriel's floor. Gabriel's floor makes many of these general receptions really easy, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure that with some other guys I would struggle. Though, actually, I don't think I would struggle too much. Now, there's still one left, and you might have already seen the name, because, well, I've not really tried to cover it up. No, let's just be a jet again. Uh, let's. And it's Bayard. Or Bayard's office. This guy. Well. This, this, this guy's weird. So he has a passive that uh, gr inflicts free fragile to himself and gains one strength. And also he has Psygot, which restores a light and draws one page at the end of the scene if a character did not use any pages. And he has a ready position that if the character su uh, suffered immobilization, gain one strength and two protection and two stagger protection. Honestly, he's weird. He's got a lot of weird, uh, weird cards that are based on fragile and paralysis. I'm not quite getting, uh, like, not quite understanding him. I do not know that there's an instant uh, immobilized card though, which could potentially make ready position a little bit broken. But it's only one strength, so I'm not sure. Anyway, let's begin.
So they just have more health to make uh, sure that Fragile doesn't kill them. Other than that, they're not actually that scary. Okay. Uh, what's Bot Slash? Oh, that's not so good. Well, anyway, let's go. Basically, in this case, as soon as we get uh, more than 10 charge on uh, Nikolai, this is basically a zero situation. So I'm quite honestly not bothered. Alright, roll up a wolf on Gabby. One attack on Gabby, okay. Going all out on Spears there. Now we get Conk, which is great. Conk, uh, our girl is also almost done. Every time this happens. She's almost staggered and she'll most likely be staggered up in this turn. Uh, ah! Oh, but everyone had taken one person, eh? Well... Gone. Yikes. Wow. Oh, that's paralysis, I think. Okay, I don't care. You already give us the... Now you don't give us a strength anymore, but at least we're still we're still alive. And that's why we put Nemo's passive on her. You can see it. It's somewhere. Where the hell did I put it? Oh, it's gone now, of course. Sure, makes sense. It's gonna be pain. Okay, ah. uh, upstanding slash will go here. Level slash will go here. That should stagger him. Gun. Bayo combat. Um, but should be it. Yeah, tell me gun isn't good. You can't. Oh yeah, roll 21. Go ahead. Alright. But now Bayard is also uh, kind of 
roofed up. Okay. We don't have gun in there, which is sad. But it sometimes just be like that. Kinda wanna make sure that he dies. Oh, he should. Right, let's go. Onrush. Stagger. Oh yeah, he's gonna die. Oh yeah, he's just gonna die. He's dead. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Yard. Oh yeah, this is also the one where I have this card from, Wedging Form. And that was that! That was that invitation! All right. That's all the general invitations done. For the final part of today, I want to talk about my uh, about my predictions for the upper row, because I think it's actually almost clear as to what kind of people um, will be we will be facing in the last receptions of Star City. Which also brings me to my order of doing them. The first thing I will do is this. And since I know that, uh, since I know from Gebra's realization that uh, Roland was a black silence, or rather it's 99% sure it was very much alluded to, all I know is, uh, all I need is Roland to literally say he's a black silence. But other than that, I already know he's a black silence. Considering this row consists of uh, the blue reverberation, reverberation and the red mist, which are both color fixes, there's only one other color fix that we ever know, uh, we've ever heard the name of, which is the purple tier. As I assume this is going to be her, or him, or whatever. I don't, I don't want to assume any genders here. <coughs> so I assume this is going to be purple tier. I think this is a free floor fight, since the red mist was one. That's all I have for that. Which is why I have to prepare free floors. Second off, the second one I want to do is this. And I believe this has something more to do with Arcor. One thing that stuck to my mind is um, how they have used a lot of personnel for uh, fight, a lot of fighting personnel for uh, W Corps cleanup. And also for. Um, for the uh, Lob Corp. So I'm kind of curious as to how they are able to have that many trained people for this purpose. So I believe this is going to be some higher ups of our Corp. I'm not sure. This is the one I'm the least sure on. So I, I believe this is some higher ups from our Corp. I definitely want the charge pages that comes from this. But other than that, yeah, I just I just hope these are gonna be fun fights. Unlike, well, the first part of this one was a utter drag. <laughs> this one is going to be, actually, is this one or the other? <laughs> so the order of the last one, I'm not sure about. This one, definitely gonna be Shao. There's no way in hell this is not gonna be Shao, and probably an ego fight too, considering how she changed her uh, looks. Like she started looking like a bit of a dragon at the end of this one, so pretty sure that this is uh, somewhat this is ego or distortion, whatever. Shao, maybe with mirrors in tow, that could be a possibility, but yeah, definitely gonna be her. And this one, this is uh, just conjecture at this point. I think this is Jan, the messenger, mainly because he showed up from here, or maybe even earlier, he showed up from here. Which is like the second, the second reception from this entire, from this entire thing, is uh, the carnival. 
and he showed up there, it would be so weird for Jan not to be the boss here. Or not to be an enemy here. Not sure how his fight's gonna look, but yeah. So I'm I will do this one first, the one I initially said I would do last. This one second, and whatever about these two. I am undecided that, uh, at that point. Kinda kinda not sure. But we'll find out when we get there. Until then, though, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I certainly had. And I see you guys in the next episode of Library of Runa when we are going to tackle what I firmly believe is the purple tier. Until then, have a great day. Bye!